Hi guys, so I have reached Mysore. I have not recorded anything on the highway because this highway from Bangalore to Mysore is super annoying. It takes more attention on roads. So I was like, let's not speak. So I didn't do it. We were late. Our plan was to leave at 5.30. We left at 7. So traffic was the problem initially. After Mandia, it was fine, totally. Uh, what time it is? 10.56. So yeah, another 3-4 hours. So we might reach Vainad by 2.30 or so. Vainad is still 140 kilometers from here, roughly. Breakfast. Okay guys, another thing, we have to do breakfast. The ride actually starts from Mysore. Because from Bangalore to Mysore, it's so chaotic. You don't really enjoy the ride. And here, cops are in action. And this is the Mysore Ring Road. And that bridge that you can see is the pipeline, Mysore water supply thing. Why not? Especially his hostel is just 130 kilometers from here. It will take three hours because the roads are like that. The roads are not that good after some 10 kilometers. It's a single lane road. And then comes the beautiful forest route. So you just cannot go beyond 50 kilometers per hour so this is the junction uh, we need to take left koi kod uti gundlu pet 60 kilometers left amazing cool srujan we will have breakfast there only it's good that mysore has a ring road bangalore's ring road is actually a traffic road not a ring road that helps traffic to bypass the Bangalore's traffic. <laughs> okay, so we will stop somewhere ahead, like 3-4 kilometers to have breakfast. So, we have planned to eat something here at Hotel Ruchi Garden. We came here last time and the food was really nice. That's why we are coming here again. My Apache also needs to take rest after doing 160 kilometers today. So let's get inside. Luggage should be fine. So I ordered dosa. And Shrujan, what did you order? Pizza. And he ordered rice bath. And we got it pretty quickly and within like 5 minutes we got it, right? Let's have it and get going. Okay, so we are done with our lunch and we are heading to Gundlu Pet now. It was a heavy brunch you can say because we didn't have breakfast properly and this is almost 12 so we had a brunch. And let's go to Gundlu Pet, it's about 58 kilometers or so. It should not take more than one hour. So that will be the last point in Karnataka and from there we take right to go why not. So we have reached Gundlu Pet. While last time we were going to Uti, we took the straight route into the Bandipur forest area through Thepikadu. But this time for why not there is a right turn instead of going straight and it goes through the same Bandipur forest but it's a parallel road that connects directly to Kerala. So we gotta go there. Waiting for Shrujan now. I will call him in some time. Oh my god I had the dosa that was very oily. Shrujan has come so Let's go! Okay, so I can see the board. We gotta take right from here.
सर वाई नॉट स्ट्रेट रे थैंक यू सो वाई नॉट इज स्ट्रेट अ हेड विदाउट एनी टर्न वी हैव टेकन टेन मिनट्स ब्रेक we have crossed gundlu pet and we are heading towards bandipur forest and i'm just looking at my bike seeing everything is fine or not i just keep checking things time on time so i just saw that the hanger clip the bungee clip is placed abnormally so i will just i will fix it Let's see if there is anything else that needs to be taken care of. This looks fine. Yeah, this is fine. Let's fix this. I fixed it. I should I had to fix it otherwise this would have had come out of the pin lock and then my whole trip will go for a toss. Ah, rest all is fine. it's a beautiful location it's farm land so you can see farms here people are growing is that spinach i don't know what is that now we will start riding again we have to finish our expected time to reach there is 3 so yeah so we are at bandipur forest main entrance so this is the parallel road but it connects directly to kerala and not tamil nadu that is uti by athepikadu and you can stop here only no stopping in the forest area so whatever photo you want to take take here monkey chalo forest area has started and see who gave them corn dude i must say this forest area is even killer than the uti bandipur area road so here only after some 20 kilometers there is a place called mutanga a tiger attack had happened and since then i keep thinking what happens if i am going some tiger attacks me and all but just follow rules go it's winter time and animals at this point of time take rest mostly so yeah there is a chance of sighting an elephant well i don't think that is happening <laughs> See, forest route is good, by the way. Things are getting more spooky, I must say, because the forest is getting denser. Oh, baby! Ah, speed breakers. So whenever these Oh you can you see deers deers Amazing I need to keep looking at the road for elephants There are elephants here in this 
forest and we need to stop if they cross the roads or even if they are nearby and you need to see if they are okay for us to let us go cross the road the route to wynad via bandipur forest area is much much better than uti's one it's much more scenic it's really nice it's beautiful So good, can't tell you. That is the beauty of it. I can't stop here because because the tiger reserve we cannot stop here. Otherwise, I would have had click pictures here for sure. This place is so nice. Wow, just amazing view. Cornering is so much of a fun here. It's just a joy ride doing on these roads, and, and that's that's totally amazing. I didn't expect such good roads. So this is the border area. I think so. Muthanga is six kilometer, Kalpeta is forty-five, Sultan Bathery is twenty. Good. And. Welcome to Kerala. So I am officially in Kerala state now. I have entered Kerala. Amazing. We are in Sultan Bathery, and this is MG Road. There is a diversion, so I have to take right. That means this road. 